I have 27 horsepower Kohler engine with engine misfire on one cylinder compression OF 125 good spark rocker arms move and valves open and close. Hello Dave. Thank you for choosing just answer. My name is I will do my very best to get you the answer you need to your question. You stated that your compression is 125 pounds per square inch on the one cylinder. What is your compression reading on the opposite cylinder? Kohler recommends a minimum of 160 pounds per square inch on both cylinders. 125 pounds per square inch is pretty low. With the reading from the opposite cylinder, I can compare the two. Thanks. 125 pounds per square inch in both. Thanks for this information. Do you have the model and spec numbers for your engine? Know the hash off of the plate. Does your engine misfire at all times, or after your engine heats up? All times just on one cell. Have you taken a look at the condition of both spark plugs? Do the firing end of both plugs look the same, or is the spark plug on the faulty cylinder different in appearance? Describe the appearance of the plug on the misfiring cylinder. These are only troubleshooting questions. Plugs look good and then switch from one side to the other same so misfire. Based upon the fact that the compression is the same on both cylinders, it is possible that your ignition coil could be working intermittently, or the diode in your wiring harness, for your coils could be faulty. Have you tried running your engine without your kill wire attached to your coil? Yes. Are you saying yes to running your engine without the kill wire attached to your coils? Both spark plugs look the same? What are you using to check your spark? I would suggest swapping your coils from side to side, but I believe that your coils have different part numbers on each cylinder. Coils are different I use A in line spark tester. I would like confirm something. Do both spark plugs look the same? No the misfire so looks white the other so looks tan. Based upon everything we have covered, it is possible that your ignition coil is at fault, although it lights up your tester. It lights the tester and fires the plug. When you checked your compression, did you check when your engine was cold, or after your engine had heated up to operating temperature? Cold. For troubleshooting purposes, start your engine and let it run about 5 minutes to reach operating temperature. Shut your engine off, and recheck the compression on both cylinders. Let's see if the compression is equal on both sides at this point. Also put your inline tester in place, on the misfiring cylinder, as your engine is running. Check to see if you notice any changes in your firing, as your engine temperature rises. Rechecked compression after warm misfire sill 129 other sill 130 spark stayed good with no dropout. Can you describe the symptoms of your misfiring? With engine running exhaust port cold when I pull plug wire off engine shuts off. So with engine running, if you pull wire off spark plug on cylinder 1, your engine will shut off. What if you put this wire back on and restart your engine, then pull the other wire? Engine stays running with no change in RPM. What are your model and spec numbers? I told you the numbers are worn off the tag. I'm sorry about asking again. 
If you like, I can opt out to see if another expert can pick up on something I have missed. I came to you for advice. Tell me what you think is best. Thank you for being patient with me. Dave, remove the valve cover from the cylinder that is not working. Check to see if you have a bent or broken push rod. Also check to see if both valves are fully opening and closing. Let me know what you find. Check your notes I have done that everything looks good. Are you familiar with checking for spark, by grounding your spark plug to your engine block? Try this method on both cylinders. Let's see if the spark appears the same on both sides. This is just another part of troubleshooting. I have done that and both coil sparks look same. Dave, your compression is equal for both cylinder. You are getting equal spark plug to both spark plugs. You switched spark plugs, and that made no difference. Everything looks good under your valve cover. I am stumped. I honestly cannot think of anything else. Does your engine immediately shut down, when you remove your spark plug wire from the spark plug in your working cylinder? Yes. For an engine to work properly, you need fuel, spark, compression. You have spark and compression. I am curious about fuel on your faulty cylinder. Do you have any carburetor cleaner? Yes, when I spray the cleaner down the throttle body, some of the misfire goes away. Motor runs better. RPMs pick up. I'm leaning toward a large vacuum leak on one side or a possible restriction in the intake manifold. What do you think? I would check the intake manifold bolts for tightness. Check the area of the intake manifold where your carburetor mounts to your manifold. Let's make sure your carburetor bolts are tight. Spray some carburetor cleaner around all of these mounting surfaces. Listen to see if your speed's up, or bogged down. You have one carburetor, but two cylinders. Your carburetor could have a partially clogged jet or fuel passage. I will check that tomorrow and let you know how it works. That will be great. Also check to see if running your engine on half, partial choke makes any difference. I will look forward to hearing from you. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.